The Black Widow is a medium attack ship that relies on its stealth capabilities to correctly position itself in order to harass targets of opportunity. Its key abilities are its fast cloak and weapon interrupt. Cloak will render the Black Widow completely invisible. If the Black Widow moves while cloaked it will consume energy. Staying stationary while cloaked will regenerate energy. If you fire at an enemy, or are hit by enemy fire, you will decloak. Its second ability, Weapon Interrupt, is a critical skill to master unless you enjoy watching your missiles turn into harmless fireworks. Weapon Interrupt slows an enemy for 5 seconds, and disables their weapon systems for 1 second. This provides a critical window for your missiles to land unhindered, as Weapon Interrupt also disables enemy point defense. The Black Widow's primary armament is its 12 round dual rocket launcher. It has two missile bays. One bay is loaded with situational missiles. The second bay is loaded with armor missiles. The Black Widow has a decent hull strength of 8000. However it has amongst the worst armor in the game. With only, two ships being worse. Proving that the in-game rating system is almost entirely arbitrary. Like its namesake, the Black Widow lies in wait for its prey. Your primary areas of operation are around key points of the map, and at the rear of enemy formations. Your paper mache armor means that prolonged engagements on the front line mean a quick trip back to the cloning bay. This combined with your terrible reload times means that the Black Widow is designed for hit and run attacks. When engaging targets, you blow your load all at once, and retreat as soon as possible, letting your allies clean up your victim. To do this, you break your cloak by launching your armor missiles, followed up with a well-timed weapon interrupt, ensuring you destroy a whole side of armor. Once your armor missiles have done their work, you mag dump your full magazine of dual rockets, and your secondary battery of missiles. Due to your high alpha damage, you must pick your target carefully, once selected you focus on the single target until it is destroyed. While you wait for your cooldowns. You should sit cloaked in one place to regenerate your energy. Once your cooldowns are off, you blow your load again. Repeat until you have destroyed your enemies. Your priority targets are highly mobile support ships, light attack ships that can't cloak, and any ships that have a slow fire rate like the Watchman. Unlike the Ghost, your dual rockets have an near instant travel time, and your missiles will follow your target, making it easier to hit highly mobile ships. Where possible, you attack any ships that are jumping, this includes larger ships that you would normally not attack. Key ships to avoid are, any ships with rapid firing salvos like reapers and leviathans, or high HP ships with hit scan lasers like the venturer, these ships can ensure that you will never recloak after you reveal yourself, pay special attention to ships with detection abilities and detection boys. Generally, it is a bad idea to attack ships with high hull and armor values, however, ships like this can be targeted if they are too busy focusing on allies. The only viable upgrade path for the Black Widow is full attack. Some people will argue that it's worth getting a point in utility for the extra energy regeneration. They are wrong. The default amount of energy is more than enough to get into attack position. To equip your Black Widow, you select the default dual rockets for the highest burst DPS. You select concussion missiles for the 5 second slow and 2 second ability interrupt. Drain missiles are no longer broken, so it is not worth using them just to potentially drain 1600 energy. Your secondary missiles should always be armor missiles. This is due to your terrible hull and armor values. Using armor missiles exposes the enemy hull as fast as possible. Meaning you can get in, do your damage, and get out safely. In conclusion, the Black Widow is a hit and run ship that relies on good positioning and target selection. It is not designed for prolonged engagements on the front line. Now go hunt down those paladins and guardians with joyful glee.